uh, it's going away real quick. So before I get into this video, I wanted to share with you guys a uh, amazing photo book that I got in the mail recently. Uh, I went hunting for this after finding out that it was in existence. I didn't know about this book. So if you know me, I'm a giant Ralph Gibson fan. This is called Tropical Drift. It's an older book from him where he documented the Caribbean islands. So very vibrant, punchy, poppy colors and just amazing compositions. Obviously, Ralph is just known for his dynamic compositions, his unique compositions, and uh, just his pursuit of form within the photographic expression. Absolutely love that book. If you're a Ralph Gibson fan, I suggest hunting one down and adding it to your collection. So I bring that up because it plays into this video. Uh, I wanted to take a, a quick little video here and talk about what got me into photography and specifically how this quarantine season and some of the projects that I've been working on recently has reawakened me to what brought me into photography in the first place. I think as we progress in our photographic journey, photography becomes much more as we go forward. And sometimes it's extremely positive. Other times uh, it can be burdensome. And uh, if you know my background, I come from a graphic design background and that's what brought me into photography. I was doing web design for a while, uh, then simplified down to graphic design to where instead of taking weeks to re-examine a, a composition, I can move elements around, create elements, add elements, and create multiple compositions within a matter of hours. Well, then when I got into photography, the camera became a compositional tool that allowed me to pluck out uh, a multitude of compositions within a short amount of time. Within 30 minutes, I can have a good handful of graphic elements to play with and to go back and, and see how they then work together later on in book projects and exhibitions and all that. That's been a large part of my process for a long time, but the whole aspect of photography has developed into street photography and documenting different areas and all these different pieces, which I very much enjoy and look forward to getting back to whenever things start opening back up. But one of the benefits I think of this quarantine season is I found myself back into kind of that, it's kind of like a mature adolescent stage. Uh, within my photography. I'm back into the uh, similar conditions as I was when I first picked up a camera. I think many of us, when we first pick up a camera, we kind of go around and document our house or document the things around our, our neighborhood. And we just point the camera at things and see how it turns out. And I found with being in quarantine and with being isolated into very small, uh, areas of space to, to move and operate in, I'm back in that stage, but bringing in the experience, the knowledge and the, the maybe photographic wisdom, if we could call it that, uh, into that process, which is kind of reawakened that whole muscle of what does it look like to just simply pair things together to see how tension can be created or rhythm uh, can be created or balance can be created and just seeing how different elements play together or compete against each other within a scene. Uh, the photo walk that I did yesterday, we had just gotten a fresh dusting of snow. So you had the juxtaposition of the, the branches and the trees and the pylons and the bushes against the bright white snow on the ground. Or then there's multiple different ponds over there and the way that the water tonality will create great tone and, and depth of, of deep, dark blacks compared to the white, uh, just snow. And I think within 45 minutes, I shot over 200 images out there uh, and created a multitude of different compositional experiments, if we call it that.
are all of the images great? Absolutely not, right? But at the same time, it, it wasn't about going out and creating great images as much as it was just getting out there and playing once again. And maybe you guys have stayed in this space. Maybe you're always playing within your creativity, but if you're anything like me, sometimes social media, the beast that is, and the, the way that it asks for certain kinds of images. I mean, let's be honest, there are images that are going to get likes over on social media. And I've found myself falling into that place in the past of making the images that I knew would get the likes versus the images that were sparking and scratching the creative itches and the inquisitive questions that I was asking in my creativity. Uh, and recently, the series that I've been working on, Owning Light, and then also the, the photos that I shot yesterday, have really been creating or scratching that creative itch. They've been uh, asking more questions than they have been offering answers. And I've been finding that to be quite enjoyable. It's been kind of falling back into the creative infancy of, of just awe and wonder of everything around. And I've been really, really enjoying that. And I'm curious to hear what this season is doing for your photography. I, I love dialoguing about these things and just seeing uh, what kind of consistencies are happening across the community or maybe my experience right now is is individual to me and that's perfectly fine as well i just love hearing these things from you guys so uh, share your comments share your thoughts share your ideas down below and then also let me know what photo books you've recently added to your selection so i go and check those out as well i appreciate seeing you guys i love you guys and i'll see you guys on the next episode whenever that comes out Peace.